Craig, it's all about innovation, isn't it, in this particular space? So tell us a little bit about your team that you hired and the technology that you have now scaled from lab and talk about uh, the innovation that uh, Pixeligent is spearheading in the space. So you have this core technology. What's the most important part of what you have, right? Is it how you make the nanoparticles, which are these three nanometer to 10 nanometer core particles, which are metal oxides, which today are for us is zirconia and titania and soon to be by the end of this quarter, barium titanate. Is it how you make those particles? Is it how you then go to the next stage, which is do the capping or the coating of those particles? Or is it how you manufacture those at scale? And the answer is yes, yes, and yes, right? Because they all have to be seamlessly working together to deliver the final product the customer wants. And so our innovation goes both across how we make the particles, which we have, I think, the best control sub 100 nanometer, even sub 50 nanometer particle development and, and, and construction in the world. Um, and then to do that at scale is where most nanotechnology companies fail, right? So when I first looked at getting involved with Celgen, I wasn't a chemist. I was been in other, I've been in other businesses of, of from software to IT services to telecom, a little bit of manufacturing. And so I first took a look at it and said, okay, what's happened in this world of nanotech? Why aren't there more successes? And it seemed like most companies failed in, in their ability to scale up. So they made these really unique particles in the lab, but they didn't really think about how to make those at mass production at the right quality at the right price point until too late in the process. So they locked into certain materials that just weren't scalable. So one thing we did when I got involved with Pixelogen, took over as CEO in 2009, was really had the mantra, we're not a science project. And if it can't be scaled and understood how we're gonna scale it from the beginning, we really shouldn't spend any effort trying to figure out what it is. And so for us, we look at it in innovation, not just how do you make the particle, but how do you manufacture it at scale? And then the last piece is, how do we make sure it's gonna work in our customers' mass production infrastructure? So we do a lot of partnering with the companies that make the end mass production tools early on to make sure that whatever we're making not only works well in our facilities, but works well in their facilities and we'll get into the final product.